Senegalese team is without 11 players on its 28-man roster for its Africa Cup of Nations opener against Zimbabwe after testing positive for COVID-19. The team will play its third goalkeeper, Bofosam, on Monday. Sine Deng of Queen's Park Rangers and th the third goalkeeper will take his place in the cage to compensate for the absence of Edouard Mendy, but also his first substitute, Alfred Gomez-René, who is not on the game sheet. The Chelsea goalkeeper tested positive for COVID, as did defender Kalidu Kulibali and striker Famara Diedu. On Sunday, Senegal had mentioned these three possible withdrawals. It seems the list has grown since then. Well, joining us live is Plus TV Africa's sports editor, Wally Scott. Uh, thank you for joining us, Mr. Scott. I like the idea you... I like that you actually stumbled on Kulibali. So, <laughs> okay. Well, um, we're all not used to these names. But before we go into the case of, you know, the COVID-19 situation in the camp, um, I'd like to for you to quickly just run us through what, um, you know, the AFCON uh, has been since yesterday. We saw very a very colorful event as an opener. And, of course, a very interesting opening statement there um, from the Cameroon uh, government. But what is the situation of things now, now that we're seeing a lot of men fall ill? I think the African has always been been um, terrible, really. Because um, most times, African countries don't take care of their players just in case they get injured in the course of the competition. Now, they put in their best for their club. But most times, when they come back to Africa for the competition, they don't put in their best for me. I was joking with you a few minutes ago before the show started, and I said, they, are, they look very obese to me, really. Your jogging is better than their sprint these days, really. And it's terrible. Hmm. However, so far, so good. It's been good. Cameroon got two penalties in their match against um, Burkina Faso. Okay, fair enough. It's all good. Um, um, Ethiopia got a win against Cape Verde. Things are only getting better at the competition. Yes, it has gotten better. Mm. The standard has gotten better, yes. But I think the best match of the tournament that everybody is waiting for, the whole world is waiting for, is Nigeria against the Pharaoh's region, mm. which takes place tomorrow at 4 p.m. Yes. Mm. And Mo Salah, Mosala is not one player, it's three players in one, <laughs> really. Oh, well, well I, saw, <laughs> I saw a lot of people go at each other on social media. Um, people were saying that Ndidi was going to be, you know, bringing the neck breaker for Mo Salah and he needs to watch his back. But what's that thing that's going on between Nigeria and Egypt? No, it's always been a, a major competition. Egypt have a better structure. Now, consistency is key at this point. The Egyptian team have seven players who play in one team in their country. That's Al Ali. Now, they only have three or four very few players who actually come from abroad. And one of them is Mo Salah, mm -hmm. who is undoubtedly one of the best players in the world as we speak. Mm. Now, what he says, we have fantastic Nigerian players. And we're not scared of Mo Salah because we've got Kelechi, who plays in England. Wilfred Indidi, who plays in England. Ola, you know, he plays in England. Truth Econ, he plays in England. So they play week in, week out. Mm. We're not scared of Mustala. And on my show this morning on Plus Sport, we spoke to the media spokesperson of the Super Eagles, Temiraji, who said, listen, we're not playing against Mustala. We're playing against the pharaohs of Egypt. Mm. So it's going to be a good game. They should, they should bring it on. Okay. I'm very optimistic we can't win this game. Finally, finally, um, I've se also seen people make bold statements like Nigeria will win the Afghan. But uh, for those who, for the spot pundits and those who are real critic, uh, critics of, you know, the, the, the Super Eagles, they say that this team is good, but might not be as good enough to win, the, to lift that cup. Where do you stand on this? This game, this team is fantastic. Really, it's very fantastic. They've got individual players, Joe Aribo, Chukweze, Ola Ino, Kelechi Inacho. The only person that's not there is Victor Simen. I think they're a fantastic team. 
And like um, Femi Razi told us this morning on Plus Four, he says, let's take one game at a time. Mm. I think we can make it happen. I think we can. Okay, and, and aside from the Pharaohs of Egypt, what other teams do you think will be making great debuts or rather, you know, changing the tide for their country or the status when it comes to AFCON? Um, you know, Except in this for COVID-19, um, Senegal will be a team to be. Hmm. Got, they've got Khalid Koulibaly, they've got Edward Mandy in group, and Mandy in group. Uh, that would be massive. Senegal, and then Ghana will be a thing to be. Well, well like Premiradi said this morning, let's take it one game at a time. Well, Nigeria could just win this one. One game at a time. Well, Wally Scott is our sports editor here uh, in Plus TV Africa. Thank you very much, Wally, for speaking with Thank us. Thank you very much, Maria. All Good right. to hear you. All right. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.